Welcome to the initial setup of the Franklin Control Systems Smart Start Pump Starter, or SSP. Let's begin with your wiring. Wire your incoming power into terminals L1, L2, and L3 on the circuit breaker. If you do not have a circuit breaker, wire into the terminals labeled L1, L2, and L3 located on the bottom left side of the back panel. Next, wire your motor leads into terminals T1, T2, and T3 on the contactor. To comply with national electric code, state, and local guidelines, a grounding terminal has been provided. If you have a pressure switch or wish to control your SSP with any other dry contact signal, bring your two wires into terminals D1 and D2. These terminals are located below the black Smart Start overload. Now let's go over how to properly set your overload. To set the overload protection correctly, we need to set the overload dial to the max running amps of the motor. To find the max amps of your motor, please reference the service factor amps, or SFA, on either the motor nameplate or the Franklin AIM manual. For example, if the SFA is 24 amps, we would set the dial to 24. Because the Smart Start overload comes standard with underload or dry run protection, we need to set the underload dial as well. For submersible motors, the underload should be set to 70%. If you have an above ground motor, such as a line shaft turbine, you should set the underload dial to 20%. These settings may need to be adjusted slightly depending on your application. If you do not want underload protection, just set the underload to 0%. If there are any questions, you may contact your local distributor, Franklin Territory Manager, or Franklin Field Service Engineer. You may also contact Franklin directly at 800-348-2420, menu option 2. Thanks for watching.